half our fuel remains. Launching probe. Launching probe. Probe launched. Launching probe. Launching probe. Welcome to the Purgatory, Shepard. Your package is being prepped and you can claim it shortly. As this is a high security vessel, you'll need to relinquish your weapons before we proceed. I can't do that. Everyone stand down. Commander, I'm Warden Kirill, and this is my ship. Your weapons will be returned on the way out. You must realize this is just a standard procedure. It's my standard procedure to keep my gun. 
Let them proceed. Our facility is more than secure enough to handle three armed guests. We're bringing Jack out of cryo. As soon as the funds clear, you can be on your way. If you'll follow me to out-processing for the pickup, Commander. Let's go. Cell Block 2. As you can see, we keep tight control over the population. Each prisoner's cell is a self-contained modular unit. I've blown a few out the airlocks as an example. The ship is made up of 30 cell blocks identical to this one. We house thousands of criminals. We can put the whole place in lockdown on a moment's notice. Nothing goes wrong here. Can you tell me about Jack? Cerberus hasn't told you. Jack is the meanest handful of violence and hate I've ever encountered. Dangerous, crazy, and very powerful. You'll see soon enough. How'd you end up running this ship? I was in law enforcement on Palavin and got sick of seeing criminals escape out into the galaxy to carry on with their crimes. Bounty hunters aren't dependable. Eventually, I hit upon this idea. Keep the criminals in space, and the galaxy is a safer place. You do this because you think it's necessary? Every day, I see the worst sapient life has to offer. Governments are soft, unwilling to make the hard choices. Someone had to stand up and make the galaxy safe. Maintaining a population this size in space can't be cheap. We can cut corners that governments can't, and each prisoner brings in a fee from his homeworld. These in what happens if the homeworld doesn't want to pay? We explain that we can't maintain the prisoner without their help, so we'll be forced to release him back onto his homeworld at an unspecified place and time. So it's an extortion racket? You don't have to agree with my methods, but don't question my motives. These are despicable people, and I'm keeping them locked up. Maintaining a population this size in space can't be cheap. We can cut corners that governments can't, and each prisoner brings in a fee. These individuals are violent, and their home planets pay well to keep them here. Get on with this. Have you had any escape attempts? We're in space. They have nowhere to go, and they know it. But still, we exercise extreme caution. These are dangerous individuals. We have many ways to control the population. I'm going to confirm that the funds from Cerberus cleared. Out processing is straight down this hallway. Just keep going past the interrogation rooms and the Supermax wing. I'll catch up with you later, Shepard. Is there something I can do for you? no excuse for beating a prisoner who can't fight back. This is a massage compared to what his victims went through. This degrades you as much as him. We have orders. You're not important enough to make your own decisions? I admit, I sometimes get tired of this. Does this really get us anything useful? Stop this. For your own sake. Yeah, you're right. Call it off. At least for now. Hey, hey guys, over here. Let me ask you something. If you're buying prisoners, can you buy me? Man, I, I don't care where you take me or what you do to me. It's gotta be better than this. We're here for Jack. Jack? Forget what I just said. I don't want to go nowhere with you. I thought this ship was a prison, not a market. Sometimes people buy cons so they can do some punishing of their own, if you understand. Warden sells us to whoever can pay enough. Why are they interrogating that prisoner? He knows something? Nah, that's Bimmy. He don't know nothing. 
He offed someone in the showers yesterday, I think. Guy he killed was worth a lot to the warden. Yeah, sucks to be Bimmy right now. They're going at it pretty hard. Do they ever kill prisoners by accident? I haven't heard of anyone dying. Warden can't make money off us if we're dead. Funny thing, though. The more a guard does it, the meaner he gets. So they rotate him through. So, what are you in for? I killed a few people. Only about 20 or so. And I blew up that one habitat. Small time compared to most of the guys here. What's it like here? Bad. And you gotta watch out. Damn, but someone's always after your stuff. Your smokes, your clothes, your pride. I haven't taken a shower in three months. Tell me more about Jack. The worst trouble you ever saw. Mixed with some crazy and way too much biotic power. That's all I'm saying. I should go. Wish I could go. I hear the screaming in my head. It's nice, yeah. Now processing's through the door on the far side of the room. This is the Supermax wing. It's off limits. Out processing is back down the hall on your right. They'll bring your package there after the cryo thaw is finished. open cell. You will not be harmed. You talked up your noble intentions with this prison, but it turns out you're a criminal like the rest. Activate systems! Open fire. Enemies in front! Down you go. Damn. Firing now! Shepard 
Shepard's on the loose. Repeat, Shepard is loose. If we hack that control, every door on the cell block opens. It's the only way to get Jack out of there. I'm doing it. Be ready. to get down there. Interesting. All guards, restore order! Lethal force authorized! But don't kill Jack! Tex, lockdown! Lockdown! Sectors 7, 9, and 11 have lost life support. No survivors. Ah, at least you'll be easy to track. Prisoners with improvised weapons. Never had a chance.
dark. valuable shepherd I could have sold you and lived like a king but you're too much trouble at least I can recapture Jack not happening you're a two-bit slave trader and I don't have time for it I do the hard thing civil governments are unwilling to this is for the good of the galaxy you 
going dark. <laughs> What the hell do you want? You're in a bad situation, and I'm gonna get you out of here. Shit, you sound like a pussy. I'm not going anywhere with you. You're Cerberus. I'm here to ask for your help. You show up in a Cerberus frigate to take me away somewhere? You think I'm stupid? This ship is going down in flames. We can get you to safety, and we're asking for your help. They could just knock her out and take her. I'd like to see you try. We're not going to attack her. Good move. Look, you want me to come with you? Make it worth my while. Join my team and I'll do what I can for you. Don't make promises you can't keep. I bet your ship's got lots of Cerberus databases. I want to look at those files, see what Cerberus's got on me. You want me on your team? Let me go through those databases. I'll give you full access. Shepard, you're not authorized to do that. Oh, it upsets the cheerleader. Even better. You better be straight up with me. So why the hell are we standing here? Move out.
Welcome to the Normandy, Jack. I'm Miranda, Shepard's second in command. On this ship, we follow orders. Tell the Cerberus cheerleader to back off, Shepard. I'm here because of our deal. Miranda will let you into the system. Let me know what you find. Hear that, precious? We're going to be friends. You, me, and every embarrassing little secret. I'll be reading down in the hold, or somewhere near the bottom. I don't like a lot of through traffic. Keep your people off me. Better that way. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, would like that, actually. Talked about work earlier. Time with special tasks group studying genophage. It wasn't entirely honest. Lie of omission. Also, other kinds need to clear the air. Mission too important to keep secrets. Work on genophage was more than just study. What was the special tasks group doing with the Krogan genophage? Study at first, as I said, but uncovered surprising data. Krogan population was increasing at faster rate than expected. Krogan were adapting to genophage, overcoming disease. The genophage was a terrible mistake. It nearly destroyed the Krogan and their culture. Now they have a chance to recover. Naive viewpoint. Krogan too dangerous to allow unchecked birth rate. Look at Krogan rebellions. Personally led a science team, geneticists, chemists, sociologists, mathematicians, created new version of genophage, released it onto Chanka, other Krogan-centric areas, re-stabilized Krogan population. You never considered other options? Hundreds, thousands. Modified genophage offered best outcome. Stabilized population, avoided publicity that could incite Krogan anger, averted potential genocide or devastating war. Best solution for whole galaxy, Krogan included. How did your genophage modification work? Krogan evolution attached garbage genetic code to genophage attack sites. Modification created other areas for garbage code to connect. Left sites clean, capable, running smoothly. How did you distribute the modified genophage? Covert drops, hospitals, clan centers, water supplies. Very difficult. Few solarians onto Chanka. 
team got caught a few times. Had to fight free. Messy. Better when things went as planned. I doubt you've told many people about this, Morton. I appreciate you letting me know. Wanted you to know I'm willing to do what's necessary. Should get back to work. Talk more later. Next time, tissue synthesis has to compile. Good for free time. Jack's tattoos are beautiful. As colorful as her past, I'm sure. I have concerns with her temper, though. You have worries about Jack? I know she'll be solid under fire, but her attitude suggests deep personal issues. She pushes people away, yet approaches sex casually. I don't think she understands her own motivations. Just be careful when talking about personal matters. I'll do my best not to piss her off. Please warn me if you fail. I want a chance to hide. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Sounds good. Have to say you run this ship tight, and we're getting things done. We keep on track and maybe we'll figure this out. I hope so. I'm not looking forward to the debrief if it all goes to hell. Is there something specific? Or are you just checking in? I heard you were big in the Alliance. Figured we have something in common. I did some things that caught attention and stirred up the Citadel. That was after the Alliance put me on leave, though. Didn't drive a Mako through a relay or take down a Reaper, but you covered that. No apologies for doing what you had to. I admire that. I couldn't go back to the Alliance, not after the cover-up. They did the same to you. General Public never knew you were dead or heard the real story of the Citadel. Did you know they used you on recruitment ads? You were the human ideal for like six months. Then they replaced you with a composite image they invented. Guess you didn't focus test right. Perfect example of humanity and they still dumped you. Boil it down, Jacob. I hope you keep a better attitude about our current mission. Don't worry. This is exactly what I signed on for. If that's all, Commander, I'll get back to my duties. There's a lot to get ready. you've received a new message at your private terminal.
gone missing. Ferris Fields, I heard. That's not far from New Canton. Did your family get back to Earth? Not yet. My mother-in-law's given us grief. Operative Lawson assures me the transport team will physically drag them away if need be. The starboard observation deck is closed until needed. How may I help you, Commander? I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. I haven't had a meal that good in a long time. I didn't think Rupert had it in him. Don't touch. That rifle's older than you are. I call her Jessie. That's my lucky charm. More men have been killed with that gun than died in the Skillian Blitz. The day I laid her to rest was the saddest day of my life. I give up every weapon I own for one more mission with that shitty old rifle. Thinking about past missions. Got a minute. You might learn something. Jack. Subject Zero. Whatever you call her. Hell of a girl. Could have used a destructive little bitch like that ten years ago when we dropped blind into the Krogan DMZ. Took out a lot of Krogan that day, but we lost way too many men. I was trying to remember how many Cerberus operatives I've killed. Lost track around 50. I guess you're an elusive man's big on forgiveness. Oh yeah, that's a model of the Varicam. Turian frigate. Hell of a ship. I led a mission to bring that thing down from the inside with just five men and whatever guns we could bring. No chance of success, but we did it. Everyone died but me. So I made out like a bandit. My first impossible mission as an independent contractor. There's been many since, but nothing so goddamn sweet as watching that Turian warship crash on the planet side. I just heard. The Collectors hit the Ferris Field colony. Shit! We're going to make those dirty buggers pay! Hey. Tell me about you, Jack. I'm still finding out about me. Thanks for letting me look at these files. If they're helping you, that's good enough for me. Don't be my buddy. You need me to kill for you, I need you for these files. Let's leave it there. Your friends at Cerberus are into some nasty things. I'm gonna find something I can use. I just know it. What's your history with Cerberus? They raised me in a research facility. I escaped when I was a kid. Been on the run ever since. 
and they've been chasing me ever since. But soon, I'm gonna chase them. You don't have to live in this pit, you know. It's dark, quiet, and hard to find. That spells safety to me. You know, this ship is a powerhouse. You could go pirate, live like a queen. I could help. You'd be my first mate. I'd lead the boarding party and handle the executions. What is it about killing that fascinates you so much? I figure every time someone dies and it's not me, my chances of survival go up. Simple. I should go. Yep. by the quarantine reports. The plague has been completely eradicated, Shepard. I have also accessed messages between mercenary groups regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. There's a recruiting station at Afterlife that may have information on him. Shepard Memorial. 
I like the Cedia towns. They're prettier. They value their light. They don't have god awful neon everywhere, like Ilium or the Citadel. Just the light of people living, moving from place to place. Just enough to know people live there. This might be useful. I have to go. Please check with my kiosk to see what I have for sale. Messages for you, Commander. You're the best, Commander. We just got those FBA couplings installed. Now we only have to calibrate every week instead of every day. We're thinking about celebrating our newfound free time with some Skillion 5 poker. Want to join us? Come on, Kenneth. The commander doesn't want to play cards with grease monkeys like us. Actually, that sounds interesting. Fantastic. I'll get the cards. My Skillion 5's a bit rusty. You'll be easy on the rookie, right? Of course, Commander. It's all friendly. Yeah, right. Be gentle on the rookie. I can't believe we fell for that. It's so worth losing to see you taken down a notch. Beat me up my own game. You're all right, Shepard. What can we do for you, Commander? Carry on. Will do, Commander. <laughs> 